I'm going to look at a bunch of toy dinosaurs, see how they compare to what we really know about dinosaurs. I'm Paul Olson. I'm Professor of Earth and Environmental Sciences at Columbia University. Now this orange beastie looks like it's trying to be a Spinosaurus. Toy dinosaurs tend to commit a really serious dinosaur sin. They lack feathers. Spinosaurus here is naked, completely naked. It's got uh, four large fingers on the hands. That would have been, uh, that's completely wrong. And it seems to be missing one on the back where it should have had four. All right, well, this one is 100% BS. There is nothing about this animal that is real. I don't even know what it's supposed to, look at that. Good grief. That is definitely supposed to be Velociraptor, and it's a Jurassic Park Velociraptor. I'd know it anywhere. You probably couldn't curl its tail like this. Oh, I see a, I see a major error. Velociraptor has a killing claw on digit two, and this is completely lacking that. I think somebody was trying to make this a Megalosaurus or maybe even a T-Rex, but of course we all know that the universal symbol for T-Rex is. Very interesting. This is not a dinosaur. All right, well this one is seriously cool. This is Amagarosaurus. What's really cool about this little toy is you can open it up, you can see its skeleton. It's totally and completely inaccurate. <laughs> Cute. Absolutely no, nothing about this skeleton is even vaguely correct. And I don't know what happened to the legs. Everybody knows who this is. I don't think I even have to say. That's Stegosaurus. Not much imagination in that sound. There were probably an enormous range of sounds that real dinosaurs made. They didn't all go This is a famous dinosaur. This is a dinosaur a lot of people are familiar with, a lot of kids, and it's one which is a real tongue twister. It's Parasaurolophus. 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 It doesn't have the right number of toes on the hands. It makes a noise. The same noise as the other ones. It's one of the few dinosaurs we actually have some idea of what it might have sounded like. It pretty much had a uh, honking type of noise rather than a scratchy, scrapey, screeching sort of sound. So I think dinosaur toys are just great. If kids notice the inaccuracies and they compare them with books or with other pictures and they see what the differences are between what we really think we know about them and the way they're portrayed as toys, that's great. It's a learning moment. If they don't, then they just have fun. Well, that's cool too. Either way, it's a win.